Welcome to day six. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through the entire process of building out the first page of the application funnel. Without further ado, because I know this is gonna be a long one, let's jump into it. So, name of the page, we're just gonna put step one, create funnel step. We're gonna open this up. Now, I've already imported all of the photos and everything I need. And so we have all of that just laying there waiting for us to implement it. And what I've done is I created kind of this outline, this template of what I want everything to look like. So all you're going to see me doing is adding this stuff in and explaining a little bit as we go. So we're going to input a photo here, day six, and that's going to be this one here. Boom. We're going to put in our sub headline. We're going to put in another headline a paragraph, and then our button. Very good. Now we're going to move on to our next section here. So I'm just going to get a rough idea of where everything should be, where I want it. And I guess we'll do black, but I actually want to make this a little bit lighter. There we go. That's good. Add color. Perfect. And so let's add in one column. We're going to do a subheadline and a headline, and we're going to change those to be white in just a second. But we're going to add in, boom, like this. We're going to do, <laughs> where is it? The bulleted list. But we need uh, we need a background color. Let's see, uh, background color. There it is. We'll do something like that just for now. And so then I duplicate this over. Boom. We'll duplicate that whole thing. Very good. And then we're going to take this button. Fill out. Fill out our application. Hmm. Let's get started with the application. Or apply now. We could just do apply now. Boom. And let's see what themes we got here for the button. We'll do this. This is a good orange, I think. I just want to make the border the edges about 15. Let's do 5. Ah, let's do 10. Cool. We're going to save, make sure we don't lose anything. All right. So here we go. We have this. We got this. I know what you're thinking, Michael. This doesn't look like much. I know. Just hang in there. As they say, trust the process. We're going to duplicate this section, pass it on down. And here is where things are going to get crazy. So we're going to get rid of this one. We're going to keep that up there. And we're going to add. Probably another section. Yeah, let's add a section. And this one is going to be not an image. It's the wrong button. This one's going to be our image feature. Boom, there we go. And we're going to make this background color the same as the one up there. And then all we got to do is duplicate that. Boom, super simple. We're going to take this. We're going to drop it down here. OK. Very good. Now we're going to duplicate this one again. We're going to bring it down. That's the bottom. OK. Very good. This is where we're going to tell our story. Right? So the, the person running this business, their story. This is a made up business. This is a fake business. And we're going to use our, our dark color again. We're going to do another section. This is where we're going to talk about our features, advantages, and benefits. And I think what I'll do is I'll copy this section. Whoa, no. It's OK. We can go back. See, that happens sometimes. You completely uh, obliterate all of the work you just did. I love that. Save that here. And we are going to get rid of this, this, and this. I just really need the headline. We're going to do two columns. This is going to be a nice image that we created. Oh, actually, we can use that. We'll just go like that. Boom. There we go. 
and then this is gonna be three. We're gonna talk about three main features. We're gonna have a big image right here. Then we're gonna put on our guarantee. So what we'll do is we'll copy this section again and we'll get rid of this side. Boom, now we have our space for our guarantee and this is gonna be a dark color, just like that. So we have some contrast. Then we're gonna do our testimonials next. So what I'm gonna do is, again, we'll copy this section, bring this down, delete this side. We kinda of have that, but that's not really what I'm looking for. So instead, we'll do this. We'll put an image at a width of 70. Let's do 100. And then we'll put our testimonial right here, person's name right there. And then we could put an image of their face. We might be able to we'll see if it looks bad, then I'm not going to do it. <laughs> uh, right? So we're just playing around here. I have my outline of what I want things to look like. And so all I'm doing right now is just trying to make that rough outline that I'm always talking about. And then we go back through and we start adding in the pieces. So let's say we have three testimonials. Boom. And we'll get rid of this part. Good. Now the last thing we need is an FAQ section. So we're going to say we're going to duplicate this top section right here. And Bring it down, good, we'll get rid of this part. Get rid of that. Boom. FAQ, FAQ, boom, FAQ. How do I want them? Separated, I think that's good. And then we're gonna add one more piece, which is gonna be like that, we're gonna put a nice big background. We'll use the orange color that we have. We want to change the border. Make it, what did I make the other one, 10? Yeah, I think it was 10, make the color borderless, boom. Now, I should be able to do that. Yep, that's what I wanted, perfect headline. We're going to put a paragraph here and then our button. Now our button is not going to be the same as these buttons, the one up here, but we do need to add some buttons. So we'll go like this. This can maybe go down there. Good. We'll duplicate, bring this down, bring this one all the way down here. So all I'm using is what I've already done, trying to make less work for myself here. We'll actually get rid of that button and we'll put this one here and then check this out. So all I got to do is change the format of the button. And so maybe not button effects, because I could do line flat. There we go. But that doesn't look as good. So we might just change the color of it. Let's go gray. Hmm. Not too happy with it. If we do that, then we got to change the text color. So I could do that and make that orange. That might work. It might. We'll see. I want to add one more thing. So we're going to come all the way back up here. And I just need to make this. There we go. And we're going to make this orange. Now, I don't know if this is going to work. So we're going to have to see. Sometimes you have to play around with things. I want a really nice solid line. And I don't think it's going to work the way I want it to at the moment. Because I have this solid line. I could use this. I could do that. Let's see. If I get rid of this, go like that. And then, nope, not that. That's not going to do it. Get rid of that, maybe. Nope. So this is what I mean. We got to play around with things. I do that. Nope. All right, we'll come back to that in a little bit. I think it's something I definitely want to do. I just don't think it's going to work at the moment. 
And so manage that's our second section we'll delete. Sometimes that happens where you can't get access to the thing uh, easily, so I just go like that. Okay, so now we gotta fix this. So we wanna make sure that this is as close to the bottom as possible because we have this weird cutoff line and I don't want the weird cutoff line. So what I'm gonna do is try to make the weird cutoff line go away. And the best way to do that is by getting rid of all of this bottom padding. Perfect. Now, let's see with my little template that I drew up earlier. Stop your dog's aggression. We're gonna make this over to the left. How to transform your fighter into friend in 21 days. So this is for a aggressive board and train program that's about three weeks long. Now, I don't like how this is 21 days by itself. So we're gonna change the font here. That looks a little bit better, I like that. And let's see. Let us do the hard part of training for you. <laughs> Let's do the hard part of training for you in our three week board and train program. We will stop your dog's aggression and help you adjust to their new way of life. Something like that, all right? We're just trying to give them as much information above the fold. This is what this is called. So right here, this first line would be called the fold of a page. What it means is this is the first thing that people see. And right now it's looking a little bland. We're gonna update that in a little bit. Okay, let's move down to here. This needs a lot of help. And we're going to first add this button because I want this button down here as well. Sometimes the more buttons you add, the better. Sometimes you don't wanna add so many buttons. I want to add a lot of buttons this time. Apply now, and we're definitely going to change that. I do not like the apply now at the moment. <laughs> I could just, I could just tell off the top of my head. I'm looking at it. Don't like it. All right, our training is based on four key principles. And so this is where you kind of display what your training is all about, right? Dogs aren't inherently bad. Right? If they're aggressive, there's a reason. I don't know why lately, but my Google Chrome has not been uh, providing me with good typos. So if you find a typo, put it in the comment section so I can fix it. Uh, there's always a way, there's always something we can do and we will find the way. There, always something we can we will find the way. All right. Removing your dog from all possible triggers is vital to success. This is why the board and train is important in these types of cases. Right? Right, we can't we can't keep the dog in some situations because they're just going to be triggered constantly. And so we need to first get them out of that situation and get some, you know, the the solid foundations that we need in order to have a well-behaved type dog. And then we can reintroduce them back into what was causing the problem in the first place. Training is not a timed event. We must work with the pace of the dog. Some people don't like to hear this. If you set this up in your application funnel and you show people, hey, you know, it's not gonna be all sunshines and rainbows. Sometimes we're gonna have to do another week. Sometimes you're, you're not gonna be where we wanna be when we finish training. That's a realistic expectation. We're setting that out right here from the start. I wanna change this background color. I don't wanna go gray and I don't wanna go orange. It just seems too much, right? but I do want to do something in between. So let's do that. Do 
I'm going to do blue either. Blue might be the best bet. Something like that, maybe? Hmm. Not too happy with it, but we'll leave it for right now. All right, we can always change things. And we're going to put a border. We're going to add our 10% uh, radius. I don't know why I say percent. I don't think it's a 10%. 10 point radius. Okay, so now I kind of made a mistake here. So what I'm going to do is take this, go like that, and now I can get rid of all that. Okay, and then we'll duplicate that again. I love the duplicating feature. Makes it that much easier to get this going on a timely event. Now you can do this. Uh, there's plenty of different softwares that allow you to do these types of things. The only problem you'll run into is having to learn the nuance of those types of behaviors, or uh, not the, those types of behaviors. Look at me going back to dog training. Um, those types of software. That's the only problem you'll have. Right, what to expect in our training, in our training. And we could get rid of this. You could write a little expert. We're going to write a little expert right here, right? Um, so week one is going to be something. Week two, week three. So we got three weeks. And I think what I want to do is change the percentage, and I think we'll do 60-40. Yeah, that works for me. Do 60-40. And 6040. Now I already have these images lined up here. If you didn't have the images, you'd have to go make the images or find the images, that kind of thing. But I could just pull these up. So what did I say? Week one was about building relationship. Week two is going to be about starting to build the foundations of behavior and understanding. Right, that obedient skill set. So we're going to show that with this. Now these are images, but you could do videos, you could do demographics, you could do whatever. Not demographics, but graphics. You could do graphics in here. There's a whole bunch we could do. Let's do this down here. Boom. All right, so week one, week two, week three, super simple. And we might even be able to do, nah, we'll leave it like that. Does this not have a, ah, oh, it doesn't have a, I could fix it. But we'll fix it another time. Okay. So there we go, we have that. I want to add some padding here, because that looks weird. There we go. Now we're on to our story. So this story is going to be uh, based off of your story as a trainer. Okay. Some people don't understand that at first. They're like, well, why aren't I just talking about the product? Well, people don't relate to products, right? I don't relate to Coca-Cola. I relate to, uh, you know, a satiating drink on a hot summer day. That's what, that's what they're trying to market to, right? We don't relate with stories I'm sorry, we don't relate with businesses as much as we do stories. So your job is to bring up the story that is part of why you do what you do. From fighting to friendship. All right, we'll get rid of this part. And then this, I'm not going to write out a whole story here. But let's say it was a couple of lines, which would be fine. And then we'll make sure that this is over here. Add that padding back in. Boom. Okay, so the story is here. Someone goes, oh, man, like I really relate to that story. He used to fight with dogs all the time, and he felt like he was trying to do a good job, but he was constantly having to struggle to work with them and blah, 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 whatever. Right? Your, your story is what people relate to. That's, that's the premise here. Now, we have run into a problem. Let's see if we can fix it. Let's see. Does that fix it? Yeah, but now it's it's weird, it's wonky. It's not centered, and I don't like that. So let's move this back over. Okay, so we, we kind of fixed it. Right, from fighting to friendship, and then you tell the story as to why uh, you work with aggressive dogs and you focus on positive reinforcement as opposed to anything else, all right? So now we're gonna move into the features here. So our features. Never lose confidence or never become confused again. Right? 
have everything you need at your fingertips. Our training is built with you first, right? You in mind first. Basically what I'm saying is, hey, our training is designed for those who have never done training before, right? We're not, we're not uh, talking to the ultimate elite science aficionados, but we're talking to those who maybe have never done training before and just have an aggressive dog and they have no clue what they need to do. So you're gonna get 24 seven training for life, support for life. You're gonna get recordings of your dog's training sessions. Actually, recordings. Jeez, of your dog's training sessions, right? All recordings of your dog's training sessions, which some people offer, some people don't. I think it's a wonderful thing if you have the ability to offer it. You should, especially if you're doing a board and train, right? You're doing a board and train and people don't know what's happening. They don't know what you're doing in their thing. And you're going to get access to our aggression at home mini course. Right, so they get they get a little bit more of a bonus. Now we have our image here for our do -do 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 -do, uh, feature thing, and I made all of these 100% by myself. You could pay someone to do them, you could do them yourself, or you can have me completely bailed out your funnel. Uh, either way, you need to have something for people to go to. I call it your secret meeting place, right? Because it's not something that everyone will find on the internet. It's only for those who you've targeted specifically and said, hey, I have this offer for this type of person. All you need to do is come and say yes. Right? That's it. So it's a specialized type of application here. That's what we're looking for. Because your marketing message changes depending on who you're talking to. So I could make the same funnel with different headlines, which I'm going to do one of these days. I'm going to show you the different funnels and different headlines that you can do, depending on what type of traffic you have. Okay. Now, what I don't like here is how big these images are. That's kind of throwing me off. Right? I don't know if anyone else is feeling that. Uh, let's do circle, maybe. That works, but they still seem pretty big. Jeez. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Oh, 700 would be too big. Yeah, I think 70 is good. So we'll make these all 70. All right, we're almost there. I don't really like this button here, so we're going to get rid of it. And maybe we can make this picture bigger. It's all right. I don't know if I like this photo. We could always change it. That's the beauty of application funnels and having this type of uh, process. So if you don't like something, you just go and change it, uh, especially if it's not doing what you want it to do. Right? If you want it to convert at a certain percentage, you want 50 people out of 100 people to come here and convert and actually apply to work with you, then you'd want the best of the best. And the only way to do that is trial and error. Here is our guarantee. Right, so you, Many times you want to have a guarantee. Sometimes they don't call for them. But a guarantee is going to take away the risk of somebody applying to work with you or giving you money if you have a a paid application. Some people do that. They're like, hey, put this $300 deposit down so that we can save your spot on our calendar. I don't prefer to do that at the end of the day if it wasn't good enough to get everything, uh, then you're just like being a penny pincher and it doesn't make sense to me. Oops, jeez, I don't know what I'm doing today. 200. Mm. Again, I don't think I like uh, this graphic and that's fine. Let's see, and then we have testimonials here. Let's see what others. Right, so this may be Sally Q. You, Sally Q. Um, Michael and 
Billy Bob. Right, and you know they have their uh, testimonials, their short little stories as to why they preferred working with you over anybody else. You're definitely going to want to put testimonials on your application page, your landing page. And let's do 70, let's do 100. There we go. Now again, I can just duplicate this, bring it over, chop that out. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. So now we have some testimonials. You could do boatloads of testimonials, and it probably won't bother anybody, especially if you do it at the bottom of your page. And I like to do it especially on the full application page. So this being just the sales page where you're trying to get people interested, show your authority, who you are, what you do, how they can work with you, then the full application page, you just want to bombard them with testimonials while they're filling out the application. And then we have our Q&A session right here. Transform your dog fighter in 21 days again I don't like how that is doing its thing there mm, 38 might be good and I don't like this button <laughs> I'll just say it I don't like the button <laughs> let's do Yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, I mean, that's better. It's not perfect. It's not perfect. There we go. There we go. Maybe just do that there. That's good. I want to fix this. We got to change the color up here. Frequently asked or answered. I like to put answered because I think it's a fun little twist. Everybody puts frequently asked questions. So you could put answered questions. Still not sure. And then we might get rid of that. Let's just do that. Get rid of that padding. Get rid of that padding. Okay. I don't like the way that this looks. So we're going to change the colors. I think that'll do it. There we go, that's a little better. Now our text doesn't make sense. Separating line. We could do orange, I think I'm just gonna get rid of that line. Maybe we do orange in the text. Content text color is gonna be that. Title text color will be orange. Let's see, let me expand, what do we get? Yeah, so we can we can add an image there. We don't need to, but we do need to change this blue because it does not match anything else uh, that we've been doing here. Maybe we'll do it like that. So you know, boom, you're in there. Keep that blue and link. Okay, so then your your questions might be, who would be my trainer? What if I have problems? Oh, our computer's slowing down here. And how much does it cost? A lot of people ask me, they're like, hey, why don't you put the price on the application funnel? And there is a reason for that. An application funnel is not a sales funnel. We treat the first page like a sales funnel, but it's not a sales funnel. People are not buying directly through here. What they're doing is applying to work with you. I'll put it to you this way. If you went to Starbucks, you're gonna pay and then get your drink. If you go to a doctor, you're gonna ask the doctor what they think is the best thing for you, and then you're gonna talk pricing. If you switch the psychology from, well, I'm ordering a drink, I know exactly what I want, here's the money, give me the drink, to, hey, I don't know what I need, I don't know what I want, I have this problem, what's the best solution for it? You've changed the psychology, you've changed the buying power, and now it's no longer about the money, but finding the best solution. If you don't want the best solution, then you charge whatever you want and go do something else. But if you're a dog trainer and you're trying to help the most amount of people in the most effective way, then you should be using this style, where people come to you saying, I have this problem, what's the best solution? 
You are the authority. You know what the best solution is. They don't. So you're going to help them do all that. So here's our funnel. We just built it out. This is our, our page. What I want to do, the first thing I want to do to kind of spice this up is change all of the backgrounds. So I have some background uh, pictures here. Hopefully they're not too aggressive, but I guess we will see. We'll put this one first. Okay, that's nice. I like how that uh, sits there. And I just want to make this... Yeah, there we go. I love hexagons. That's why there's hexagons in this. I'm surprised I did not do it earlier. To be honest with you, <laughs> I love hexagons. Uh, in my opinion, they are the best I know that makes no sense to most people uh, listening to this. But hexagons are the best of Great, we have some hexagons in the back there. We'll do it like that. Now, could I have done this earlier and then when I duplicated all the pages, it would have been easier? Sure. And now that I'm thinking about that, I'm going to do it next time. Because now i got to go through and add all of these and make sure they're perfect. Right? These colors I'm not vibing with, and they're not the right padding, I don't think. But that's okay. We can fix that another time. Here, we're going to add that other background, that dark background. It just adds a little bit of pop. It makes it less bland. That's good. Add this one in. That tan background. Whenever I'm looking at a funnel, I'm like, ah, I need something. It's usually a background. Right? If I if if you have a website, go look. Now I just noticed something as I lose my train of thought. Still not sure. It's still not sure. Don't want to have both of that. So we're gonna get rid of that. Um, if you have a website currently up right now, go look at it, see if there's a background. Some type of you know interesting background. Not that it needs to be glaringly obvious, but look. This has a little bit of hexagon in the back pattern. It's a different color than white. This one is very bland. It's just dark gray. So what I'm going to do is add just a little bit of finesse. If you have a website, go check it out. If someone else built the website for you, then you definitely need to go check it out, right? Because maybe they didn't add it and you have no idea that your website looks bland, right? You can't look at it from what you think is good. You have to look at it from what other people are going to think is good. The only way to judge your stuff, I don't know why that took me so long to say, the only way to judge your stuff is to have other people say yes or no, that's good or bad, right? Because we're biased, especially if you worked a really long day on it and you've put all this energy into it, you're going to go, oh my God, it's fantastic. What are you talking about? It might not be, <laughs> right? I, listen, I've done it. I've spent you know, weeks and weeks, months building out a, a program, filming, editing, making it fantastic, and people don't like it. And so I stopped doing that. I stopped making that mistake. Instead, I ask people, hey, do you like this? Is this good? You know, what do you think it's missing? What do you want to add to it? All right, so now we have a little bit better of a funnel here. It's a little, little sharper. There's a few things I want to change. For one, I want to find out what this size is. That's a 38. So now we're going to make all of these the same size. Otherwise, it looks weird. So that's a good place to start. We're just fixing things up here. And then in that case, we might have to change what we say. Because if it, it looks weird because it goes off the edge or something like that, that's going to be no good. Okay, now do we have, yeah, this one. It's a 23, I think I wanna make that a 26. Yeah, that's good. So now all of these are gonna be 26. Whoa! Here we go. Keep doing that. 26. Okay, good. Now that's pretty good. Let's change this to get started now. Whoa, clicker. <laughs> Click here to apply for training. I think that's much better. 
Okay, now what am I going to do? Duplicate, bring it down. And get rid of that one. And I think, yeah, we could do it. Do it like that. And we'll just make this fill the width. Do we think that looks better? Hmm. You know what it needs? It needs to be a little thinner. There we go. That looks better. In my opinion. There we go. Okay. So now we're going to replace the old one. Whoa. And this is going to fill to any length that I put it in. So you noticed I had to change the depth of one of these boxes just to make it easier. Okay, so now we're going to take this, bring it all the way down here. And that's okay, but I'm going to add this and make it 50. So I changed the container of which this goes in, and now I have a more customized button. That's what I want. Duplicate. Take this down. That handsome man. Boom. Boom. Do we want this here? Nah. Let's go. Let's put it under the guarantee because the guarantee is weak, in my opinion. It's just it's it's lacking. I don't know what it's lacking. That's usually the first problem. Acknowledge that it's lacking something and then figure out what it's lacking and add it. Too many people say, ah, it's not lacking anything, and they don't fix it. It's lacking something. And cool. I think we'll leave that like that. Okay. So now let's check it out. This is our full funnel as it stands right now. Stop your dog's aggression. Learn how to transform your fighter into friend in 21 days. Let us do the hard part of training for you. Get started now. Click here to apply for training. We could change this color. We could make these colors match. That would be a good good place to start. Our board and train broken down. What to expect in our training. Week one, week two, week three. I'm not sure why those look the way they look. We could fix that. Get started now. Then we have our story here. We have our features. So you like to explain features, advantages, and benefits. So in this case, this would be the feature. 24 seven support for life. And in here you would explain the advantage and benefit of that feature so someone fully understands it. We have a guarantee here. This stops people who are like, ah, what if I do this and I'm, I'm locked in and I have to be, no, there's no guarantee. Like you don't have to do anything. All right, the guarantee here is that you at least have enough information to make an informed decision. Then we have some nice testimonials from Sally Q, Michael, and Billy Bob. And then we have our frequently asked questions. Again, this was a simple funnel today. I just wanted to show you kind of the process of doing it yourself if you so wanted to. If you wanted to you know, go out and get a software like this, click funnels, go high level. You can do this in Canva, Kajabi, any of those things. You could build this out yourself. Just know it is difficult. It takes a while and there's some things that I did not cover, there's a lot of things actually, that I did not cover in today's video explaining the nuances of these graphics and different downloads and, and all that kind of stuff. So if you want me to build out your funnel, just message me, let me know that that's something you wanna do for the month of November. I'm building out free funnels for dog trainers. If you didn't know, this is not a real offer, this is not a real funnel for someone, but it could be. So let me know if you want me to build out your funnel and I'd be more than happy to do so. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.